Hey guys, this is Rajit Goyal and you are watching Tech RJ, the best place to know the best features of your smartphone and today in this video we will be talking about Realme 6 which comes with Helio G90T and just for 14,000 rupees it provides with your punch hole camera within a full HD display and 30 watts fast charging. We will be talking about 40 plus special features of this smartphone so the video will be a bit longer but I would suggest you to watch this video till the end to know every detail of your smartphone so without wasting any time let's get straight into this video. So the first thing here which I would like to talk about is 90Hz refresh rate display in this smartphone. When you actually use this smartphone you will be able to notice how smooth it is. The UI is really smooth here. One thing you need to make sure is that you go to settings, display and brightness, screen refresh rate and select 90Hz here instead of auto which will keep switching between 60Hz and 90Hz automatically which won't be that good an experience. Second thing to talk about here is a hardware feature which makes your phone more fast. That is a side mounted fingerprint sensor. This I feel is the best location for a physical fingerprint sensor. If you see this is much more natural position for thumb and makes it very easy to unlock your smartphone. But wait, what if you accidentally placed your thumb on it and not even wanted to unlock your smartphone. So to change this you need to go to the settings fingerprint face and passcode, fingerprint, screen of unlock and select firm touch here instead of light touch and that's it your problem is solved. Now you need to press the button to unlock your smartphone and just a touch will not work. You can also enjoy video calling and Wi-Fi calling in this smartphone. If you dial any random number in the dialer you can directly video call from here and you don't even have to save this contact before doing this and you can clearly see in the status bar Wi-Fi calling is enabled by default so you can use your local Wi-Fi to get better network during calls. This phone also supports automatic call recording without any third party application. You just need to go to settings in the dialer app and here you can find call recording feature. You can turn on a record all calls option or you can also record selected calls from here. If you want to use flash on call, this is also present here. This will make your phone's flash light blink whenever there is an incoming call on your smartphone and to enable this you just need to to enable flash on call option. If you are on the home screen you can also use a smart sidebar in this phone which is amazing and you can place a lot of shortcuts for apps or quick actions here. Also you can customize this and add or remove apps from here. This sidebar also provides the support for floating windows because when you open apps from the sidebar they directly open up in the form of a floating window which can be resized or minimized but remember this works for some of the apps only. You also get to use focus mode and driving mode in this phone. You just need to go to control center here and select mode. Focus mode helps you focus on your work and ask your phone not to disturb you for a certain period of time. Similarly, driving mode allows you to make some automated settings for incoming calls or messages while you are driving. This phone also allows you to use dark mode which you can actually enable from control center and as you know enabling this changes the overall theme of your phone to dark or black instead of white. However, this doesn't look that good as there is no AMOLED display present here. You can again go to control center if you want to record the screen of your smartphone and you can also long tap on this to change some settings. For example, you can enable the recording of system sounds maybe if you want to record a gameplay. Also you can change the video resolution to full HD for better results. One amazing feature in the control center here is OS IE vision effect. Just long tap on it to see what it does. Basically this works on some of the video streaming applications and enhances the colors of the videos to make your experience much better. Applications keep on adding here in this list as you keep installing them in your smartphone. Phone. To use global search in this phone you can simply swipe down from home screen and if you type something in search bar the phone will perform a search in file manager contacts, apps, settings, messages and even an internet search. If you pinch on the home screen you can directly enter easy home screen editing mode. Basically the phone allows you to move more than one application collectively. You can just select multiple apps and drop them wherever you want. Now if you see here nothing happens if I double tap in empty area on the home screen. You can actually use this shortcut to lock your smartphone and to use this you need to long tap on the home screen go to settings here and enable this toggle which is double tap to lock and now you can use this feature. You can also use Wi-Fi assistant in the smartphone. To use this you need to go to settings, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi assistant and enable this toggle here which is automatically select the best Wi-Fi. This allows your phone to choose best available Wi-Fi to provide you better network. Also you can allow your phone to automatically switch to mobile data by enabling this second toggle here. Another amazing feature in Wi-Fi settings is dual channel network acceleration which is one of the best features of Realme UI. By enabling this you can actually use both Wi-Fi and mobile data at the same time and get better network and download speeds. Here is a list of applications which supports this feature and this list keeps updating as soon as you install new apps. 
you can also use Wi-Fi tethering in the smartphone which again is a great feature. To use this you just need to go to other wireless connections, Wi-Fi tethering and enable this toggle here which will directly enable the hotspot while keeping the Wi-Fi on as well. Basically you can share a Wi-Fi which you are already connected to. To cast your phone's display to any other smart device you can use this screencast option in other wireless connections. You just need to enable this toggle here which will show you a list of devices available near you where you can start casting. By default the phone doesn't show battery percentage and network speed in the status bar. If you go to notifications and status bar settings, here you can enable both these things. First one here is the real time network speed and the next one here is the show battery percentage on status bar which you can either select to show inside the battery icon or outside the battery icon. Now if you move to display settings, you can also use eye care mode here. If you use your phone for reading books or something or you use your phone a lot during night time, you can use this to reduce bluish tint from your screen and you too have an option to turn things black and white here which will completely remove any colors from your screen. You can also change display size as well as font size in display settings. You can make the overall display look small or large or you can just make the font smaller or larger however you may prefer it. If you move to home screen and lock screen magazine settings, here you can change themes, wallpapers and icon styles on your smartphone. Basically you have a theme store where you can choose and download different themes as well as wallpapers based on your personal choices. For icons you have styling options here where you can make them material style, pebble style or customize manually. Here if you go back you also get an option to enable or disable lock screen magazine. Enabling this will allow your phone to show a new wallpaper every time you go to lock screen. However, if you don't like this, you can simply turn this off. Now if we move to sound and vibration settings, here you can find Realme sound technology which can actually enhance your music listening experience but only while you are using a wired earphones or wired headphones. You can also manually change equalizer settings within this. Using DND mode is also quite interesting here because you can set it up the way you want it to be. For example, you can exclude some of the contacts from DND menu and allow calls and messages from them or you can use this ring for repeated calls option which will make the phone ring even in DND mode if you get a repeated call from any particular number. You also get to use app lock and private safe in this phone without using any third party application. You just need to navigate to fingerprint face and password settings, select and enable privacy password here and after you set it up you can use this app lock to password protect your applications or private safe to password protect your files. There are some important face unlock settings as well which you need to change before you start using it. One is select auto unlock within this screen unlock setting to allow your phone to skip the lock screen and go directly to the home screen after the phone unlocks using face unlock. Next one is this toggle which is do not recognize face with closed eyes and you need to enable this to keep your phone protected and not allow someone to unlock it just with your face even if you are sleeping with eyes closed. You can use a lot of different navigation options as well for which you need to navigate to convenience tools, navigation buttons and here you can select Swipe gestures from both sides, swipe up to go to home screen, swipe up and hold to go to recent screen and you can simply swipe from edges to go back. You can also enable one handed mode in navigation button settings. Just enable this toggle here and you can pull down from home button to enter one handed mode and you need to click this button here to exit one handed mode. Within convenience tool settings you can also use this assistive bowl to navigate. Just enable this toggle to enable assistive bowl and if you keep its operation mode at gesture settings you can simply tap on this bowl to go back, long tap on this bowl to go to home or double tap to go to recent screen. However, you can also change its operation to tap menu and then use this bowl for quick shortcuts. You can also find screen of gestures in convenience tools. You need to select gestures and motions here and go to screen of gestures. Enabling this will show you a number of gestures which you can perform on the screen when it is turned off and perform some quick functions there. You can add some gestures as well and also you can control music using these gestures. You also have a lot of call related gestures here in the gestures and motions. These all are pretty much self explanatory. For example, you can just flip your phone during an incoming call to silent it. One more amazing feature in this smartphone is process manager which you can find in additional settings. This is pretty much a copy of task manager in windows which allows you to check which all applications are running and using your system and freeze them if you want to stop them. You can also use amazing screenshot gestures in this smartphone and to enable them you need to go to screenshot settings in additional settings here. So if you capture a normal screenshot here you can just swipe down on this preview to share it. Similarly if you swipe up on this preview you can enter into long screenshot capturing mode. If you tap and hold 
three fingers on your screen then you can capture this active screenshot of your screen and select this area manually which you want to capture one more gesture for the long screenshot here is swiping down with three fingers which can be used on any screen you can also use app cloner in this phone which is present in the settings menu this can create a dual app or copy of any social media app and let you use two different accounts at same time if you are going to play games on the smartphone then next feature is for you and this is game space which you can again find in the settings menu you can just enable or disable this from here to actually use this feature you need to navigate to app drawer and open game space app from here here you can easily add games for which you want to use this gaming mode and set some default settings to get better gaming performance one more gesture here which you can use is swipe up with three fingers which will directly take you to split screen mode you just need to do this gesture while you are using any application now let's quickly move to camera application to show you some amazing camera features first one here is 64 megapixel camera mode which you can use to capture better detailed photos because primary camera here is a 64 megapixel sensor also you get to use ultra wide and ultra macro modes in this camera because you get dedicated cameras for both these modes you need to switch this 1x to ultra wide in photos mode to capture ultra wide shots to use ultra macro mode you need to use this from more modes in more modes here you also get to see time lapse and slow motion videos mode you can shoot up to 240 fps slow motion videos in this smartphone also you can shoot 4k ultra hd videos with the rear camera of this smartphone you just need to navigate to camera settings video resolution and select 4k here and also if you select 1080 pixels you can shoot up to 60 frames per second so these were the best 40 features of this smartphone please give a huge thumbs up if you like this video if you have any suggestions or any questions please feel free to ask them below in the comment section do subscribe and press the bell icon for many more upcoming interesting videos and yeah do check out our hindi channel for more fresh content